I want to show how we're upgrading Angular dev tools to make debugging and inspecting hydration easier for you. So I'd like to dive into up here where I'm inspecting angular.dev. And in the bottom right corner, we've got show hydration overlays. This brings up this little red bar on the side that shows me that this hydration, this side panel is not hydrating correctly. It's got this nasty little span at it. And on the components panel, it even shows exactly what the problem is and what I need to fix. I don't know about you, but this is right before lunch. I'm really hungry. I don't want to deal with this. So let's just put ng skip hydration on that component. <laughs> really top notch software engineering right here. And uh, what we got here is if we rebuild, relook at it, we see, oh, this, this side panel is now being skipped. There's no error. Everything works just fine. Now we are taking a slight performance penalty for this. It's actually re rendering this side panel uh, from scratch on page load. But everything else is still hydrating. We're still getting great performance all around. Uh, and most importantly, I can merge this, ship it to prod, and then go get lunch and come back on a full stomach and actually debug the problem and squeeze that last little bit out of hydration.